<laughs> Hello, this is Martin. You know me from my series on how to pay off your car loan in 36 months without being cheap. I finally had Starbucks for the first time in like four months, man. Uh, just had a hot tea. Or you watch my other series where I talk to you about, hey, if you're unemployed, it's 40 million people unemployed right now. What are you doing to get yourself back to work? Like, what are you doing to um, set yourself apart? You know, I have a $197, $397, $697 package for you. Well, I call it the Did I to Stack Package. Mark Morris, P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 92402. So today I want to say, finally, my blue brothers and my black brothers were finally out the news cycle. Finally, they can talk about the gay marriage thing where I guess if you're gay that they're going to, uh, you're not able to be discriminated against. Well, finally, we're out the news cycle, man. They can deal with that. Like, is it really right for people to be gay and all that stuff? So we got to that news cycle. So that's what I want to comp- congratulate. We have to congratulate ourselves because all we've been doing is pushing that through the news cycle. So be happy. So today I wanted to just like also all these so-called protesters, let's just Give it a rest, man. Just give it a rest. Like, what is it now with the NBA, with Kyrie and some other guy complaining about LeBron, Anthony Davis? I remember Anthony Davis from the Knicks. I was like, I remember when he missed all those shots in the championship game. Come on, bro, man. I don't want to remember who you are. I I, already know. You were a guy who helped choke, helped the Knicks choke the series away when you were bricking. He was shooting. He he shot those free throws. He almost broke the backboard. He hit the backboard so hard. I still, this is 2020. I think I still hear the brick coming off the wall. So. That's what I think about Anthony Davis and all this stuff. But today, let's like think about something else. I was thinking about, will Trump get reelected? I've been thinking about it. I know I gave you guys my thing last time where I thought, oh, Biden was a shoe-in. Now the more I think about it, three things Trump could do to get reelected. Number one, do not talk anything about the gay thing. Just say, Hey, the Supreme Court ruled on it. If that's what they want to do, personally, that's what they want to do. Trust me, I live in an apartment place and I see a bunch of couples around me. Wasn't it? They say like uh, 10% of couples have a child outside the relationship. I believe that. I seriously believe that. I can just, I think think the first child usually belongs to the guy who married you, married the woman. But then the guy realized, I was like, this guy's really a dork. So I believe the second child is probably outside the marriage. Maybe the third and fourth are actually from the the marriage because she feels so guilty for having one outside the marriage that she wants to get married. I mean, make it up to him. So, but I'm like, who, I was like, just to think of, just to follow up on the Supreme Court thing. Do you really care if people get married who are the same sex? I mean, I, I used to live in San Francisco, so I'm like, I don't care, man. I, don't, I, I hate heterosexual couples who are married who annoy me where I live at. So do you really think I care about if you're gay? If you annoy me, you annoy me. If you guys are together, you're together, man. So I just thought that was funny. But let's think about it. Three things Trump can do to avoid getting, can possibly get elected. One, don't mention anything about the gay thing. Just say nothing. Just like Supreme Court ruled on it. Hey, if the employer wants to discriminate and fire someone because they're gay, I have no control of it. If people want to sleep with each other because they're gay, let them do it. That's all he has to say. Number two, don't mention anything about the police thing, man, because I'm I'm black and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people. I'm sick of white people talking for me. I'm sick of black people talking for me. I'm sick of sports people talking for me. I don't care. You know, you know what? Like my grandmother said, like when I grew up, just be respectful. I know brothers who act act up with the cops because I've done it before. Luckily, I had a white cop calm me down because I like don't want to keep acting that ass every time. Because basically, cops are people too. So whatever you say about it, they're cops are people too. So, and then if you do overreact and you make them suspicious, and they're like, okay, I don't want to let a guy back on the street who could possibly be a criminal. On and on and on. That's why my grandmother says the best policy. If you guys want to carry your license plate on your what is it? Put your driver's license on your necklace if you want to memorize it. I don't care. I don't really think. I mean. We'll talk about the cop stuff later. I mean, there's good cops. Also, there's good black people. Like, so there's good white people. I mean, some people snitch on more than others, and we'll talk about that later. But I'm just sick of the 
Trump, just don't talk, don't mention anything about the cop thing. Let the cities handle it. Let the cops handle it. There's going to be some, basically what's going to end up happening, coming out of this is the snot, cops will just have to snitch on each other. That's all. I mean, all they have, all, all their, um, all their, all their stupid, uh, what is it, the, the union for the cops, you, say, you know, we're going to have a hotline where people can report potential cops that are doing crazy things, and we'll investigate them. That's all they have to say. You don't have to snitch on a cop. You say, I think he's doing a little something, investigate it. You don't even have to put your name to it. Hey, so-and-so cop did something, I think that's out of line. Hey, you guys decide how to handle it. You can do it that way. You can hide some stuff under the rug. You can make people retire. You can just let them, hey, man, if you cost us money and we already know about this and we talk to you about it, we're going to fire you. We're going to take you to jail and your union won't be able to do anything for you. We'll make your life a living hell. So figure out what you want to do. So that's what's going to end up coming out of all this. You're not going to defund the cops. You have black on black. So I guess I already know. Don't get me started again. I see a lot of people like, Black on black, black on Mexican, white on white. You need the cops just as a neutral party, man. And that's all they have to do is snitch on each other. All they really have to say, don't take a knee because that's not going to save you if something else happens. Just say, hey, you know what? We're just going to report crooked cops. That's it. Not to internal refer. Just go through an outside agency. If internal refer is not going to do it properly, go to an outside agency and then you're covered. That's it. That's all people want to hear. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to defund the cops. You don't have to do RoboCop cops. That's all they have to do. So that's all Trump has to say. Say, you know what? I'm gonna just let the police handle it. Hey, because they're gonna like they're gonna they they know what they know what's gonna happen if something else comes out with them ha without having a reporting system to deal with the, their bad cops. They're gonna get punished again, and it's on to them. And then they're going to be afraid to come out to the areas because they think the black people, or all the crazy people, are gonna attack them. Crime's gonna go up, and then. Or they'll get fired for doing something they get caught on camera for. If it's not too, it'll be minor, but if they would have just followed up on it report for and like got some little help or just say, hey man, don't do that stuff. Or you're black or white, you'd be okay. So that's why Trump, don't, just don't go into that stuff. Number one, don't say nothing about the Supreme Court and gay people. You don't care. I don't care. If they want to do whatever, if someone's stupid enough to say, hey, I'm going to fire them because they're gay then that person's an idiot to start with. And do you really want to even associate with that person? And if they do it, hey, it's on them. As long as they do it, we're like legitimate, like fire person for non-performance or like a detriment culture. Just a, was it detriment to the culture? Then do that. I could see doing that. And then number two, don't wade into the cop controversy. You don't need to. It's none of your business. It's just, it's not even a black thing. It's not even a white thing. Everyone knows stuff is going to change. It's not even about firing people. All people want to do is just say, you know what? We have bad cops. They've already admitted that. Now they got to go to the next step to say, either we're going to go through internal affairs to enforce possible illegal behavior, or we'll go to an outside agency. We can report it and they can do their own investigation. That's all they have to say. And then number three is... Do not mention anything about the flag stuff. Now, that's what's going to cause him to get in trouble. Just let the flag go, Trump. We already know. It. Everyone's a patriot. No one really... Everyone's a patriot. No one's, like, worried about no one being non... What is it? Non-American and stuff. So, But that's where he's going to make his mistake. Don't die on that. Because you can't go to a rally full of a bunch of white people saying, we're going to protect the flag. We're all going to protect the flag. But you know, some people are going to take it too far. And what are they going to do? They're going to bring the Confederate flag out. And they're going to look like... A, they'll start looking like a Klan rally. And people will say, well, just start giving mixed signals again. And then I'm like, okay, well, we already know he's not going to... He's not that way, but he's that way. It just, just causes more division. More... What it could do, it you know, can cause the... the Republicans not to get the Senate, not to get the House, because he's just talking too much. So I believe if he just doesn't do, stays away from those three things and just focuses on the economy and lets Biden talk, he can win by at least six to seven points. But I don't think he's smart enough to do that, unfortunately. I could be wrong. So then the other way, the bonus round, which could really cause all kind of hell, could just be Biden just starts talking. And then his people are just like, I don't want this guy. This guy is just doesn't have a feel for the economy. He doesn't know like what what's going on. And we just want to go with status quo and just hope this person pulls us up. That's the bonus factor. 
But based on what I see, those are the three things I guarantee. Stay away from the police. Stay away from gay marriage. Stay away from the flags. We already know about the flags. So if he doesn't die on those three hills, that'll bring him even. Biden starts talking, that'll put him ahead. Now, if that's and the bonus, it'll be Biden will say something totally crazy. And then he won't be able to, then people won't vote for him. So those are my three things. Let me know. Subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. Join my 100,000 person campaign. M-A-R-T-C-H-I-N-G 2018 at gmail.com. Sign up. Let me know what you think.